Folks, a question pops up from time to time in some of the community forums I belong to where people ask, what are those plants that are growing in everyone's filters? So I thought a little video was in order, a little on the pothos plant coming up. So what exactly are pothos plants? Well, they are one of the most common house plants or office plants. If you work in an office, work around cubicles, one of them might be sitting on a ledge right now and you might even have one in your home. They're great beginner house plants. They do well in high or low light although they don't do well in direct sunlight. They grow in nutrient-rich or poor soil, and they can be grown in dry soil or water. Now, if you do pick soil or water, you wanna choose one or the other, because if they're grown in water and moved to soil, they do have a hard time adjusting and vice versa. They're propagated by stem cuttings, leave three to four leaves per stem, not unlike our aquarium plants. However, they can be poisonous. <coughs> they're toxic to cats, dogs, and children, though, Nothing life-threatening, it makes you sick, it's just a little vomiting and irritation, but just good to be aware of. However, here's the good news they're great for our tanks. They get plenty of nutrients, they provide a nice background behind our tanks. Now they're said to help soak up nitrates in the tank and help with nitrate levels. They do to a certain extent, but you have to have an awful lot of it to make an enormous difference. So keep doing your water changes and just keep in mind they will soak up other good nutrients that your plants need. So you might have to adjust your dosing regimen if you have a substantial amount of pothos in your tank. Now, while I started my two baby pothos stems in my filters, the roots have now grown too long and the stems too thick to effectively fit them. Now I could potentially stand up one of the pothos plants in the larger filter, but the roots are all over the place and I do need to give those a trim. I certainly can't fit it into the other hang on the back filter, the smaller one, and I do try to maximize my filter's capacity, so it is stock full of media. Now these two stems I cut from where else? The cubicle area in our office. There was a pothos plant there on the ledge, so I simply cut two stems out. However, if you cannot fit your pothos plants into your hang on the back filters, here is a little quick hack, if you will on how to still attach these inside your aquarium. All you need is an airline holder and a suction cup, and you can attach the airline holder to the base of the pothos plant stem and stick this anywhere you would like inside your aquarium. As of right now, I have them both suction cup to the sides, though now that I'm looking at the video, might be better to suction cup these to the back just to fill up some of the back white space that I have behind my aquarium. And it's as simple as that. The roots are still in the water. The plant is still getting all the nutrients it needs. And it still looks pretty good. So you can see the root system down below, right by the sword plant. And usually what I'll do is I'll tuck the roots right behind the sword plant so they're not quite as visible. And there you have it, folks. There's a little bit about the pothos plant. Again, one of the most common house plants and office plants. They're available at just about any nursery. You can get them at Home Depot, you can get them at Lowe's. So they are a widely available plant. Again, to propagate them, just cut off a stem, make sure you have three or four leaves on that stem, take them home, stick them in your tank, in your hang on the back filter, or suction cup them to the side of the aquarium. Folks, The Den is now on Instagram, at dmichaelsfishden. Join me if you are so inclined. Please like, comment, subscribe for future content. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.